Hello everybody and welcome to the Scottish Geeks. Today we're playing Space Farmers by the Bumpkin Brothers. This game is pre 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 alpha and uh well I'm just really really happy I'm gonna be one of the first to play it. And uh playing along with me is Hi everyone, I'm Andy Yates from the Bumpkin Brothers. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Um, Andy is one of the guys who designed this game, and um, remember, you can check this out on Greenlight, and you're going to be on Desura soon, did you say? Possibly, yes. Yes, Poss we're, we're just in talks. That's uh, that's hopefully hopefully we're going to be on the alpha funding uh, as soon as we've got a, a, an alpha that's publicly consumable. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna get playing this just in a moment, but to let you guys know, um, you can go and check us out in green light. Please hit yes, or I'll come to your house and kick your head in. No, I won't really. Just press yes. It's just a great game, uh, as we'll soon see. Uh, I'm getting dizzy watching this title screen. Are we ready to begin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if you join the game, we can okay. uh, we can make a start. Hopefully, you'll you'll see it on there. Join game, Andy's game. That's the one. You should actually design a game called Andy's game. So what? <laughs> a bit like Ender's game, but Andy's game. Oh, definitely. Game. <laughs> so, just for the benefit of the viewers at home, what are the controls? Um, we're waiting for the server to begin, just for a moment here. Yes. Uh, well, you've you've connected. I can see that this side. Um, yep. We've got to we've got to put a message to the other side just to say that. But, uh, but basically, yeah. So this is uh, it's a third person uh, shoot 'em up mm -hmm. in it, at its core, but also very strong cooperative elements uh, and puzzles that you have to do together. So it's not just shooting robots. We love shooting robots. There's a lot of shooting robots, but also there's cooperative puzzles to solve, and it needs both of you. It's not just a one person uh, doing the puzzles while the other person shooting. Uh, you both need to be involved in the puzzles, uh, which we'll see in a minute. So uh, I'm going to start us off with uh, the the simplest of the levels, uh, awesome. the more the more shooty of the levels, uh, which we're yeah we're, we're nicknaming it the energy shotguns level at the moment. So I'll just kick that off. Nice. And um, how did you know to get my hairline in there? Dear God. Oh, well. <laughs> we knew you'd be playing. All right. So we've got the, the mouse. Uh, mouse just moves your character around and around and around and around. Oh, dear God. That's it. That's sure, it. Yeah. You should really get an option. If you do that too much, they throw up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, simple mouse keys as well. I'm assuming there's going to be controller access as well. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, we've got uh, three. We've been testing it with a, a 360 controller, uh, and that's been working really well. Um, ah. so, oh yeah, oh robots, kill them. That's He's it. That's right. <laughs> oh, nice. Stuff. And I'm I'm loving the fact that there's um, debris after you shoot these things as well. What are they oh. called? Then? Um, the debris. Uh, well, they're cogs and pistons and. No, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean the robots. Oh, the robots! <laughs> <laughs> um, they are called chompies. Right, let's they, see if we can... they... Aha! I they think chomp... I've discovered something here. Oh, right. If we stand here, we should be able to ah. hit them without actually getting hit ourselves. Yes, well, the, the, the eggs are, are quite large, because they're, they're chicken robots, so they naturally they, they fire eggs at you. I have discovered a secret already. What's this thing? Ah, well this is a games console, and one of the things we really want to put in the game, so that we're working on, is uh, some 2D retro games that you can play together as well. Yeah. So, um, I think one of the ideas being that when you destroy enemies, uh, you'll end up with, uh, they'll drop uh, credits or coupons or, or, or something, you know, that, and you'll be able to use those for a number of different things. Uh, one of the things being to, to put them in these arcade cabinets, uh, and you'll be able to play some of the games uh, between you as well, you know things like the old, uh, the old Q Basic Gorilla game, uh, mm -hmm. and or Snake and things like that. So that. That's what we've got in our heads at the moment, anyway. So we still, we've still got to do some work on that. Nice. Um, but uh, that's that's the plan. Um, so the ammo is it unlimited or ooh, what's that? What? Ah, this is this is what we call uh, the grinder. Kill it! Kill okay. it! Kill it! Yeah, no, I'd say indestructible. Damn, it's eating my bullets. In this level, anyway. So, oh, <laughs> and you've got the the red barrels of doom as well. Yes, so. yes. Well, they're they're they're. they're... So, how do we get by this? Do we limbo? Uh, we could do, but I don't I don't think it would help very much. No, there's 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 an ominous looking button here. Oh yeah. Uh, so so we need to stand on that. So so uh, as I stand on it, yeah. I, I think you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. Yeah, run like That's hell. It. Run like hell. Okay, so, I'm already okay. ahead of you, so I'm 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 already ahead in the okay. game. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Hey. Yes. <laughs> we need some chase music in this, some sort of uh Indiana Jones yeah. is what we got. The banjo music would actually be perfect for this part. <laughs> yes. Sort of the what do we call the Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! It ducked! It ducked! Down! It... Down! 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 Okay. Down! <laughs> Quickly! Whoa! Very close. That was yeah. great. It's uh, great seeing other people play that because it's it's quite often that uh, they don't make it. But that they'll, thing's you know, evil. They'll, they'll it's keep... floating through space. Yes. And, yes. In actual fact, now I know for a fact that a lot of people would probably complain, say, "Why didn't it fall down?" But you're in space. Well, you know, yes. So I think the momentum's we'll be... just going to keep it going forever. I mean... Well, exactly, yes. <laughs> we'll probably put some kind of, um, you know, launch landing area that makes it look like it just goes into space with a, some kind of force field or, or something like that. So, you know, it'll, 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 it'll make sense in the end. I mean, this is, this is just, we're just, we just want to be chased by a big giant rolling pin with spikes, basically, so. Nice. And I'm assuming this is an uh, end level section? Yes, these are, these are the, uh, the, the lifts to the next section uh, when you actually uh, get to play the full thing. Um, so I'll, I'll explain about the, the sections in a little bit. Um, but, uh, if we move on then. So that was, that was quite a shooty uh, bit. So that was quite a shooty area. You know, there wasn't much puzzling there, of course. Um, no. so, so now I think we ought to play a far more cooperative, puzzly type area. So. So what have we got here? We've got goggles and a laser cutter. So, which one do you want to go for? Oh well, uh, I mean, I I always prefer the uh, the laser cutter because okay. that's that's the weapon. So so yeah. <laughs> so, so this time we've got two very different items. We've got this laser ah. cutter. Yeah yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is this is actually harmful to your teammate. Unlike the previous level where the gunshots uh, don't hurt your partner, this this one really does. And you've got. Uh, so the... you've got some sort of spectral analysis goggles. Yes. Yes, we call them magic goggles because ah. we, we can't think of a, of a fun technical name for them yet. <laughs> um, but basically, they can they can see these uh, these landmines, um, ah, which are nice. very. very get uh, where the cooperative elements comes into it now. Now you've got to make sure you don't shoot me, and I've got to make sure that you don't get hit by these mines. Exactly. That's that's precisely the uh, the effect we're going for. Oh, wow, careful! Don't walk in front of the the beam. Now, are you able to turn that beam on and off? No, no, it's it's it is stuck on. Ah. So, okay, so I've got to go over here now, I think. And I think yeah. So you're safe at the moment. You so can I've do got to go over here, and I've got to hit this green button, I assume. That's it. Okay. There we go. That lets me through, and then I do the same for you. Okay. Wow. So, this is actually quite... Oh, ah! ah damn it! See, <laughs> that was my fault there. I was too busy explaining things. Um, <laughs> this is actually quite a quite an intense sort of... sort of level. I mean, I can't wait to see, like... I can't wait to have it with the music in it because I can imagine quite suspenseful music going on. Yeah, well, you know, it's um, again we 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 wanted to sort of mix up the the action and the the thinky parts yeah. at the time. We don't we don't want it all to be uh, shooty shooty. Uh, we you know we the, one of the things we the games really we really love playing in the last couple of years is uh, Portal Two, um, but we also wanted to kill robots at the same time. So we thought, can we combine the two? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's uh, when we sort of redesign because we've been thinking about this game for a long time, but it sort of really started to manifest in our minds when we played that. Yeah. So, um, but I can I can really see where the the cooperative element comes into it, and I mean it's mm. it is something you're going to have to play with someone you trust. I would say. Ah! Holy crap. <laughs> see. <laughs> See, no, I don't trust you. Uh, no, um, I'm gonna go for the laser cutter. Yeah, yeah, let's swap, let's swap. Yeah. Um, oh, ah, ah. Stay away from my laser cutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, yes. okay, I'm gonna face this way this time. We, we don't promise to, to mend any friendships, only destroy them. Yeah. So. That's not a problem, though. I mean, it's. <laughs> well, it's, so, it's so quick to start again, and, and uh, oh, ah, shoot it go. with fire. Uh, I'm trying ah. to, I'm trying to. It's. it's, it's too far away, you need to come out the way quick. There we go. Come out the way, come out the way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, you see, that's the thing. Now, now I'm assuming, but. Woo! Ah. See, I can't, I can't get around there now because you're there. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. go. Ah. Ah. Okay, oh, okay. I don't know how we survived that. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm pointing up the way, so you go across the other way. Right, yeah, so you should be clear all the way down there. There we go. Okay, woo! <laughs> 
Oh, and there so you go. You're... This was probably um, one of the first times you've probably done it with the goggles rather than the laser, I would assume. Uh, yeah, I, I normally end up with the laser. It's uh, it's when giving people the choice. Mm -hmm. It's 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 actually surprising how often people go for the non-lethal gadget first, yeah. rather than rather than the the thing that destroys everything. <laughs> if I just if I just walk backwards behind you, it should be fine. <laughs> oh, quirky! Yeah, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk here. I don't think that, yeah I don't think there's anything there. So if I right. if I show you where things are, okay, so okay. It should be okay all the way across here. Oh yeah. Uh, then if you uh, then if you turn that away, there we go. perfect. There we are. Ah, you see, <laughs> now, that, that is that is an element. I mean, once once you get like bit larger levels for that, I mean that is an element that is going to really really either annoy or excite people is the fact that <laughs> you know it's like you have to rely on each other, but one of you's got a death ray. Yes, you know, exactly. I mean, it's what, what? it's literally a case of you know making that choice. Do you cooperate or do you just spend the entire time spinning round and round trying to kill the other person? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we'd hope that. I mean, obviously, it's designed for the cooperation side of things. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah. So, so that was, you know, that was a really good example of a, of, of a true cooperation level. Mm -hmm. um, and what we want to do is each of these sections. It's, it's about that kind of length that they'll be. And and when you play with someone, um, we're going to make like twenty five of those. That's that's our target anyway. We'd love to make more. It all depends on how much time we get. But if we made say twenty five, and then every time you play with someone, it picks five of those at random. Mm -hmm and arranges them and it, it'll be a nice mix of shooty and cooperative so you don't get bored um, and then that playthrough will be those five levels or those five sections as we're calling them yeah. um, so and that, that lasts for about you know 15 20 minutes when you play through so we're hoping that people you know want to play for that, that, that kind of length of time and it, every time they play it'll be it'll be substantially different yeah I mean um, one of the things I was going to ask you about it is um, the, the keyboard design um, what made you come up with that? Was it just for? I mean, I, I like it. I do. Um, but mm. you, I, th I think you are going to have a lot of people comparing you to to various other games like uh, Cube Blocks and uh, Minecraft, for example. But the the one the one that people seem to be uh, comparing us to, I, I can't actually remember the name of the game. It was a, it's a flash game. It's called uh, oh, Cube Heads or something or what Box Heads. That was it. Um, and and people said, you know, oh, is, this a, is this a copy of that game? And to be honest, we'd never even heard of it before we actually started Space Farmers. Originally, the Space Farmers had uh, bobbleheads, so they they were big round mm -hmm. heads, big big spheres, uh, and they both they both wore uh, bobble caps. That that was in the original design. We'll, we'll be releasing screenshots of that at some point. Um, and they're very circular. The, the problem with that design was that it was really hard to actually know which way your your character was yeah, facing. Yeah. Um, unless you had the big laser, of course. So we, you know, we wanted to make it really clear um, where the character were, were, where they were facing, um, just to make it easier for the player, really. And, and also, one, you know, once we, we designed Steve first, the blonde-haired character, uh, and once we designed him, um, I mean, that's that's like the third iteration of Steve. But once once we came up with the general design, we just loved him so much. Um, that we had to we had to keep him like that basically, uh, and th and then Thomas the the guy with the mustache, um, he he came second, uh, and uh, we added obviously the the monocle and the the the, the bald head, yeah, <laughs> and things like that, and and it just it just made us laugh so much we just had to keep that kind of design in there, but you know we're not we're not restricting ourselves to everything being cubes, um, the no, the I mean, pig I've seen the, I've seen that just from just from looking at it I mean it's not everything's cuboid but it it's very geometric but I mean again it's, it's a design that works you know if it works for you and it works for for the people that are going to play it as well then that's great I mean. Um, who is that angry-looking pig anyway? <laughs> ah, well, tell you what, shall we, shall we, shall we come and visit the pig? Okay. Let's let's play uh, our third section that we're that we're demoing at the moment. What have we got here? Right. Guns and, this time. Guns and gravity gloves. Yes. Now, which are you which are you going to go for? I think I'll try the gravity gloves. We've tried. I've tried guns already, and you're okay. You're probably better with the guns. But oh, okay, cool. Well, yes. So you so you you're, you've got the non-lethal uh, weapon again there. Well, a non-lethal weapon, a non-lethal item. <laughs> oh, ah, careful. Okay, look, if I stand on here, yep. you can you can get through that door there. Okay. Ah. So I'm going to I'm going to kill some robots. All right, I can pick pick up. Whee! You can pick the pick up. Have a throw. Okay, so I'm assuming <laughs> if I drop the pick here, and I stand here, then 
That's it. You let me through then. Ah. Okay. And so, do I follow you here, or? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can let you can come off now. So, so um, one of the things we're going to do is change either the colour of the lasers or or the buttons to indicate whether you need to stay on the button to keep the doors open. Because, mm -hmm. oh, you bringing the pig? Good. Yeah. Well, you look lonely. Yeah. <laughs> he's a bit. He's a bit sullen, really, isn't he? He is. He's, 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 a, he's a grumpy pig, uh, <laughs> and, and eventually he will he will speak as well. Ah. He's, he's not, not going to be completely mute like he is at the moment. Get away from me! I've got a pig. <laughs> yes, one of the, one of the phrases that came out when we were playtesting this at uh, Game City, in Nottingham, people actually referred to it as the the pig defense, using the pig to keep the the robots away from you. Ah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to drop that pig. And introduce some traffic. <laughs> Hello! So... Oh, careful, Ooh. careful! Ah! My pig shall go. protect me. <laughs> Protective pig power. Yes. Right, so how do we get away from this bit now? Well, I, I I should leave it for you to figure out. The pigs have a very thick skin, is all, all I'll say. Ah! That, that's, too, that's too much of a clue, isn't it? I've got to stop saying that. It's too, too much of a clue. Right, so I'm glad I brought the other pig now. Well, you know, there's actually four different ways of completing this level. Mm -hmm. Well, four, four that we've seen, anyway. We, we suspect there might be a couple more. Uh, and it was really great to see different people try different things while we were at Nottingham. Oh. You see, the, the great thing is, though, I mean, if there, even if you're not sh you're not sure even how many, how many ways you can complete a level, I mean, that's, that's definitely what a game's got away from its programmer. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's one of those... Uh, Oh, I can't remember what you call it now. When when the people make their own stories in the games, um, I can't remember the phrase now. Uh, it's called being me, mostly. <laughs> I would say, but yeah. Um, so okay, so um, one other thing I'm I'm going to say I'm I'm actually very very interested in is this little helicopter pack that's just coming round just in a moment. Oh right, yes, the the hover backpack ah. as we call it. Yes, well obviously we know there's no. There's no gravity in space, but we still like it. We just love the propeller so mm -hmm. much. So tell you what, let's uh, let's play with that. Let's uh, let's go pick that up. Okay. So I'm gonna have the hover backpack. You can have the gun. You have the. I'll so have the gun. how do we work it? Oh, right click. Oh, uh, right click for this. Yes. Yay. It's because um, every item in the game takes up a slot, a character, uh, like a, either a hand or a uh, also a head slot as well. Um, now the, the hover backpack takes up a ha one hand and one uh, head slot. Ooh, oh, oh, was a lot oh, of. Okay. <laughs> right, you ready? Oh, yep. bring you up. The, so the shotgun I'm carrying takes up two hand slots. So you can't have this shotgun and that hover backpack. Yeah. But there is uh, there is obviously a, a pistol as well which we're we're working yeah, I'm on. I'm assuming I can uh, hover and... over this. No, 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 you can't. No. I shouldn't have said that. I should have, I should have let you. Uh, Hover to your death. You can hover over the floor, ah. but not the uh, not not the beam. Okay, and let me see. Uh, try and stop this thing. No, oh, no, oh, I that. see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, oh, yeah, right yeah, there, yeah. we are. Good. <laughs> well, again, I think that's not obvious enough, and we need to put like little uh, like landing pads outside so so that it it makes a bit yeah. more sense. But you know, th these are all these are all the kind of things which you know expect to to have to figure out. And it's the only it's it's the things you can only figure out by watching people Definitely. play. You know, it does it doesn't naturally happen. So, uh, so yeah. So that that's the shortest of our our demonstration areas at the moment. Um, just just because that was that was done. That was the last one we did before we had to take it to to Game yeah. City. So uh, we didn't have as much time to work on that one. Well, I'm assu I'm assuming actually that when you're when you're playing through these these levels, these are just like you said, um, shortened sort of versions just to show off some of the tech. Um, but I'm assuming like each level will have various different sort of implementations of these uh, different items you can collect. Like you can drop one item and pick up another, etc. Absolutely, you know, we're we're going to play it by ear a bit. So, so I mean, those those lengths they're not too bad. You know, we, we think maybe make them a little bit longer um, because we we don't want people to be to to have to do the same thing over and over again. So what we're focusing more on is is more gadgets, more gizmos. More variety, um, but you know, not not necessarily. We don't we don't we don't think people want to be playing a game of this for an hour. Yeah. Say, um, you know, we want to keep it to to 20 minutes max, really. And then and then you know, if you want to play again, you play again. 
Um, and, and, and the next time you play, you're probably going to come across uh, different gadgets. You might come across the same area, but you're more likely to come across, you know, four different mm -hmm. areas and things like that. So we really want to mix it up. And, you know, we've got loads of ideas. We've got uh, things we've got in the works. For instance, we've got space scooters, mm -hmm. so that, you know, vehicles that you can, you can ride, they go quite fast. Uh, there's uh, a sh there's a, a sentry gun that fires uh, potatoes nice. and carrots at, at robots. Uh, we've got let's see the other things we've got. Oh, just just loads. I can't remember them all. I'd have to look at my notes, <laughs> which I haven't got in front of me. Um, one of the, one of the things I know that people are going to ask for because it's just part and parcel of it. Will you be able to uh, modify your character? You know, different clothes, things like that, or would you be able to create your own uh, to play with? We've got a couple of ideas with that. Um, creating your own, I think we we might do uh, some some competitions for for people to to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but for in terms of vanity items like hats or different character looks, uh, and even different characters, what we think we're going to do at the moment uh, this this is subject to change, of course, is um, in the same way that uh, you can use tokens that you collect from from dead enemies in the uh, game cabinets you'll also be able to use them to change to, to buy accessories and characters uh, to play as as well in, in, a, in an in-game shop so that but just just to point out there won't be any real money involved it's it's we, we're always very keen on the idea of a one payment and you you the sort of theme park model you know you pay pay to get in and then you can play with all the toys yeah, see, I've, I've always I've always hated that about certain games, you know, where it's like you've got limited amount of time to play, but if you pay twenty pounds, you can play for five more minutes. Yeah, that that drives us nuts. Yeah. that kind of thing. So, so you know, that's that's not what we want to play, and therefore that's not that's not what we're going to make. Yeah. We we're going to make something where you know you you've got a far more freedom. You know, you're not restricted by the amount of money you pay. It's going to be it's going to be a one off low cost price for the game. Yeah. Um, and then, and then you'll be able to do everything in there. I mean, to be honest, if if it was me, I mean, the, with the likes of this, I would rather pay uh, the money to to have, to buy the game, play it, and then have the have yourselves, the developers, use that money to then make another game. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I mean, we, we certainly want to expand this one first. I mean, we know we're going to we're going to get we're going to get the base game in at release definitely. Yeah. But but when when I say we're aiming for twenty five sections, we we would love to do more. Mm -hmm. You know, it all it all depends on how popular the game is and and what suggestions we get from people on the green light page. Well, even as an alpha, I mean, you see a lot of alphas out there, and this is the most complete alpha I've seen in a long time. And and like you said, oh, you're, thank you. you're still quite far from, from getting to where you want to be, but I mean, if it was me and I had this, I would I would have said like purely from from playing those small sections, they look like completed levels to me. Oh thank you. You know? <laughs> well this is this this sort of shows two months work we we started our planning for the you know our, our proper planning on uh 20th of august so we we had a we had a sit down day and we we said this is this is where we want to be uh then two weeks later we completely changed that <laughs> <laughs> and uh uh, you know, it's, it's, we've been through a lot of iterations. We, we work very fast. I mean, most most of what you see is that you know is actually a month's programming and artwork. Uh, it, although we started two months ago, we we had a month of 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 testing and experimentation, getting the networking sorted. So, so you know, it, it not all counts towards it. So we, when we actually get our act together with it, we're, we're very fast at doing it. So we're, we're hoping that over the next few weeks, uh, we can add even more sections. Uh, and and hopefully get even more people to play it and get more people interested. You know, and we really want to hear what people have got to say about it. Um, it's it's not just us deciding what goes in there. We we want to we want to hear the the crazy ideas that people have got out there because we want we want the game to be pretty crazy. We don't want it to be standard. We want to be remembered and people to really enjoy what they've played. Definitely. Um, so could we show them anything else? Uh, unfortunately, that's it for now. No! We do have. Some, I know we we have some of the levels, but if I showed you those, the, the game would 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 die on us, and yeah. I'd rather not show that at the moment. That's perfectly uh, all but, right. Um, but we do. Yeah. So what what I'm going to suggest is um, once once we've uh, once we've we've finished this video, I would like another another quick playthrough of the gun level. Um, once we finish <laughs> that, uh, there will be a trailer put up uh, for the game, and I will of course put the the green light. Uh, link down the bottom and also Bunkin Brothers website if you want to go and visit them they have a whole feast of games out there that you want to you, go, you guys can go out and try I mean you can get them on your uh, your mobile phones you can play them on the computer 
Um, I mean, there's one in particular I play. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention it, but uh, I keep mentioning it anyway, which is when Ian <laughs> fell on the machine, I'm still bloody addicted to that and I want to see more of it. But um, with this game, I want to see more of this as well. And it's... Ooh, I, sp- I suppose we ought to mention that the game's going to be on PC, Mac uh, and Linux to start with. Nice. Uh, but also that we're also aiming for um, micro consoles, so specifically uh, game stick. And then if we if we speak nicely to uh, Xbox, uh, Microsoft, and Sony, uh, you never know it might end up on the on those consoles as well. Definitely. Well, guys, um, get those yes votes in, and let's see this game getting made because I want to play more. I don't know about you guys, but I really do. This can't just be the end of this one. Let like, play. How long <laughs> do I have to wait till the next time? <laughs> okay right well thank you very much uh, boys and girls for watching us please do leave a like and a favourite subscribe to the Bumpkin Brothers as well Uh, I'll put a link uh, to their YouTube page down in the description too Uh, and leave me a nice big juicy comment Uh, but until next time from Andy oh yes thank you everyone please vote for us we'll give you free hugs (laughs) and from me it's bye bye